And today, I'm going to be looking at the Baofeng UV, what is it? UV S9 Plus. <laughs> I should have practiced that, shouldn't I? Is it Baofeng or Baofeng? Or Baofeng? The Baofeng UV S9 Plus. So I guess they've got that uh, model number for the fact that the signals you get on the Baofeng UV S9 Plus are always S9 Plus. Okay, I'm not going to be a marketing manager for them anytime soon. This is a radio that I picked up off of AliExpress when I was browsing the other week. I decided that I would purchase this radio to do a little bit of a review on it. But there's one thing that intrigued me a lot by this particular radio. So stick around and we'll have a look and see how good this rig or how good this handheld really is. Thank you everybody for clicking on the video. Please, if you do enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button with the bell icon and you'll be notified of future videos that I do. So yes, I purchased this Baofeng uh, UVS9 Plus off of AliExpress. Uh, at the moment, they're going for about $25 US or something like that. I'll put a link in the description below anyway of where you can pick up one of these handhelds. But uh, I've got the this one. Whoops. Oh, nearly dropped it off the desk. <laughs> I've got uh, the the UV5R3, I think, is that third revision, I think, as well. So um, I, uh, I decided to pick up this one because of an interesting little advertisement that I saw. I got drawn in. It was advertised as a 10 watt radio. Now, I know that there's a bit of a... Uh, <laughs> I suppose you could call it scam with these bow things that sometimes are advertised at really ridiculous uh, power levels. But um, I thought, well, what the heck, $25. Even if it's only 5 watts, it's going to be great to try out anyway. So what I thought I'd do is purchase it anyway and let's do a bit of a power test and a little bit of a review. So, um, yeah, it's it's uh, advertised on AliExpress as a 2021 model. So I'm not sure exactly how long this radio has been out. I know that the UV5R has been out for quite a while. The uh, the UVS9 is, is a new one on my, um, my list of radios that I didn't really know about. It's got quite a few reviews, actually. It's uh, where I purchased it from anyway, over three... 3,000 orders and almost 1,400 reviews with 4.6 stars. So I, I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll throw out 20 bucks and I'll, I'll grab this radio. So um, what do you get? Well, basically, it's the same as any other Baofeng radio. You'll, well, you get the radio with an antenna as well. The antenna is uh, 136 to 174 megs and 400 to 520 megs. Uh, you get the charger. The good thing that I liked about this was that I could actually specify the Australian pins um, rather than using a, a travel adapter to plug in my charger. But uh, but yeah, you get the, the standard drop-in Baofeng charger, which is a little bit different than the UV5R one. A manual, which conspicuously leaves out 10 watts in it under its transmitter specifications. There's nothing on that specification list to indicate what the output power level is. However, there is something interesting which I'll show you on the radio shortly. Uh, you get the standard Baofeng headset, uh, you get a strap, what else do you get? Uh, belt clip for the radio, blah, blah, blah. You also get a, now this is something that I got for my Baofeng as part of the deal was a USB charger. So that's pretty cool. I can charge it off of USB. So that's, I think what I might do with this radio is I might leave it in the car and uh, just, th just throw it in the glove box. And then if I go for a walk or I'm out somewhere, I can just clip it on my belt and, and just uh, when I get back to the car, I can charge it up again. So that's pretty cool. Now, the interesting thing is little battery, which is a 2800 amp milliamp hour, which actually has uh, 7.4 volts. So that is the battery that you get with it, if that'll focus. However, this is interesting. Now, the UVS9 Plus has a tag on the back, which if I can focus that in, UVS9 Plus power 10 watts. 
Frequency 136 to 174, 400 to 520. So that's interesting. Some of the other features of the UV9S Plus are a cool little LED light on the top here. So that could be handy for when you uh, are out at nighttime. I know that it comes in handy for me because I've been out in nighttime and gotten lost and the only light that I had, well, I had my phone battery, but that went flat. So that might uh, come in handy. Uh, it's got FM radio as well. So if you press the call button once, you go to FM. And if we enter in a FM frequency. Oh, better take that away before I get done for copyright for some music. But there we go. It does receive FM. So you can uh, put in your FM frequencies. Um, I think it's just direct dial. You can go up and down in 100 kilohertz steps. Yeah. So, that's actually pretty good reception here um, for inside where I am. Press call again takes you back to the 2 meter and 70 centimeter um, frequencies. So, yeah, pretty neat little radio. We'll do some tests anyway and we'll see what, uh, what we get out on the 2 meter and 70 centimeter band. So let's go over and do that test now and see how much power we get out of this radio. I have about a meter, uh, 1.35 meters of RG58 connected to the radio. Uh, that's going into a dummy load into the front of the test set and that's all calibrated up. So we should see some loss of approximately 0.3 of a dB uh, using this cable. So that's at two meters. So let's go and fire up the radio. Frequency mode. And let's use 146. Let's use 146 520 for my US viewers. The uh, two meter call channel. One, four, six, five, two, zero. Okay, and I have my power set to high. Menu. So let's see what output power we get. And we get, ah, uh, we only get 5.1 5 watts. No, that's a shame. Um, okay, seven. Ooh. Victor Kilo 7, hotel, hotel, testing. Victor Kilo 7, hotel, hotel, testing. One, two, three, four, five. So it's just testing the deviation of these radios. Sometimes they can be a little bit down. Um, that one seemed okay. The peak deviation was about, I think about four kilohertz. No, five kilohertz if you whistle. <laughs> so yeah, so we're getting an output power of about five watts uh, there at the moment. So on high power. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, it's probably putting out slightly more power. I think if we do the calculation, it's probably something like more in the order of probably about five and a half watts or something like that. So nowhere near the 10 watts. I'm sorry, Baofeng, but you've tricked us again. Let's do low power. Power. Confirm. So low power is around about 1.8 or yeah, about two watts, something like that. So let's uh, let's go 440. Okay, so 446 running high power. And we get about four watts out. Now, we need to change uh, what our output power would roughly be with the loss. So we're probably about 0.6 of a dB loss. So it's the, the output power is just under five watts on 70 centimeters on this radio. So yeah, just, uh, just under five watts of output power on the high setting. If we select the power. low power setting, yeah, it's about one point, what's that, 1.3, so about one and a half watts uh, when you take out the, the loss of the, the cable. So slightly disappointing. It's not a 10 watt radio, but that's what is to be expected with these uh, Chinese power things that uh, don't uh, get caught up with the advertisements that they're outputting higher amounts of power than what they actually are. Still, not bad for a little 5 watt radio. Uh, I think that I'll um, make good use of this. I'll throw it in the um, throw it in the go pack or I'll throw it in the backpack when I go soda walking. 
Um, I can charge it off of USB and the good thing that I like about that is that I can do it using my um, power bank. So I can carry my small little power bank to the top of the, the mountain and if it goes flat, uh, the battery goes flat, I can uh, charge it up there on uh, on site. Just out of interest, the UV5R has a 1800 milliamp hour battery. The I think as I said before, yeah, so it's almost a thousand amp hours uh, more um, current capacity on the UV S9 Plus. The weight of the radio, it's definitely a lot, it weighs a lot less than what the UV5R uh, ways so as I said I will put a link down in the description below I hope you enjoyed this uh, video please give it a thumbs up if uh, you enjoyed it and also hit that subscribe and I'll see you in the next video 73 for now Frequency.